Hi, my name is Colleen Williams, and I'm a Principal PM on the Microsoft Edge team. Today, I'm going to share how Edge empowers your workforce to connect in new ways, as well as simplify and manage their day. I'll also cover the newest security implementations and management updates based on your feedback. Over the last few years, the way we work has continued to evolve. When we work, where we work, and how we work has become more flexible. Core to this new digital working style are cloud-based communication and collaboration apps, and of course, the browser. One thing we've heard is that when we're not all together, getting everyone on the same page and keeping everyone on the same page is hard. You're probably working on multiple projects a day with different groups of people. Key information and files for those projects are sent as links, but to manage and keep track of them, it's death by a thousand emails. And if you miss one link, you could be left working off the wrong file. This is a big problem. And bringing someone new on board is even more complicated. Imagine joining a new project and trying to get the full picture of the work one link at a time. If everyone is working from a different picture, your group is not working at their best. Meet Microsoft Edge Workspaces, a shared set of browser tabs where everyone can view the same websites and latest working files in one place. With Microsoft Edge Workspaces, you can turn a fragmented picture of your project into a unified shared one. Using Workspaces is simple. Anyone can create a workspace. Then, just open websites and files as tabs instead of sending them in emails as links. You can share the workspace with everyone in the project, and they can hop right in and easily see the whole picture. Because this is built with the browser, it's instantly familiar and recognizable for users. You can open pretty much anything as a tab in your workspace from reference sites to project dashboards to collaborative apps. And the magic is that they're all in one place. No more hunting through emails and chats for that one link you need. Let's see Edge Workspaces in action. Kara is joining an existing project as the new design lead. She's excited to work with the group. Usually, Kara would receive emails and chats with numerous websites and file links to bring her up to speed with the group's project. Instead, the group uses a shared Edge workspace where all their project links open as tabs. Using one simple link, Kara opens the shared Edge workspace. She's pleasantly surprised to see the group's sites and files are ready for her all in one place. Since she uses the browser every day, the Edge workspace is instantly familiar. Kara sees that other members of the group are in the Edge workspace as well. Since the Edge workspace is shared by the whole group, she already feels more connected. She sees that most of the team is on the first tab looking at the project tracker. In the background, the group leader pings that the group needs to put together a short executive review for tomorrow. In real time, the leader opens a new PowerPoint presentation as a tab, and the group knows exactly where to start. Although she just joined the group, Kara sees how she can help with the executive review right away. She pulls up the file with the latest product designs in the Edge workspace. She alerts the group and sees them move to her tab to grab images of the product. Her teammate is grateful that he didn't have to hunt around for the images. Kara loves how fast she was able to contribute to the group already. With Edge workspaces, groups can stay on the same page by sharing the same tabs. As we've explored workspaces with users, they've told us how useful this will be to help them manage their projects and drive alignment across the group. But they've also consistently told us something else. They've told us how useful workspaces would be in their personal lives. They want to plan travel with friends. They want to organize a reunion with family. They don't want this just for work, but for everything else too. So we're happy to announce that in 2023, Edge workspaces will be available to not just enterprises, but to everyone as well. As we've seen and spoken about, we spend a good majority of our day in the browser. The new tab page is designed to keep everyone focused and productive. So let's talk about some of the changes we're making in this area. This is the current Edge new tab page when users are viewing the Microsoft 365 tab. 
You see the Microsoft 365 feed, recent SharePoint sites and documents, as well as upcoming events. Moving forward, we want to lead with a feed-like experience. The feed is the most frequently used part of today's experience and what employees find most helpful. We see the feed as a place that helps users stay on top of meetings, tasks, and updates. Connect with people important to them to discover recent posts, insights, and catch up on the latest in their profile card, and express themselves through posts, reactions, and comments. The feed is based on intelligence across M365, is customized to you, and will have timely and relevant updates throughout the day, depending upon what you're working on, and will help you stay connected to your colleagues, no matter where anyone is working. Next, we looked at further optimizing search with the address bar. We have begun servicing work results to accelerate users and assist them with their work search queries. A common task that we've all been a part of is sharing files with our colleagues. We are expanding the workplace search to see files that your colleagues have shared right in the address bar. In this example, we surface files related to Kristen Patterson I have access to. I'm sure by now you can see a theme. We want to keep users engaged and productive and provide tools that limit the need for context and app switching. With Edge's new sidebar feature, you'll see we continue to try to help with that problem. On the far right, you'll notice some icons. These allow you to quickly access apps while browsing. No more switching tabs or having to go outside the browser to access these apps. We have heard early feedback both from enterprises and consumers that different experiences are needed and wanted. For enterprise users, you'll get a more business-like experience. The focus will be on Outlook, Search, and Discover. Enterprise admins, you'll be able to customize this pane for what makes sense for your users. For non-enterprise users, a more consumer-like experience will be available. Speaking of the sidebar, the Outlook Persistent pane is now available. You can answer emails without having to switch apps or tabs. You can check email, reply, start a new thread, and more. Simply click on the Outlook icon on the far right and your email will appear. In our flexible hybrid world, we're sending more and more written communications, and we want to be able to send those communications quickly and with as few mistakes as possible. We've shipped some great features over the last several months that helps in this space. For example, Editor. When you're typing in Microsoft Edge, Editor will give you grammar recommendations, flag spelling errors, and provide synonyms for spelling suggestions. Editor provides these capabilities in over 20 languages and across all websites with a text field that do not have their own built-in spell check. Text prediction is also available, which will provide text suggestions to help you type quickly and with confidence. Text prediction is available in select languages. Since we've launched Edge, we've also invested in making the web accessible for everyone, and here's two new features to help. Page colors allows users with sensitivity to bright colors or difficulty perceiving certain colors to specify a color scheme that override the original colors on the page. Live captions is a new audio transcription feature we are previewing. It analyzes any audio playing from a video or podcast in Microsoft Edge for speech, transcribes that speech into text, and then displays the text in a separate window. The entire process is done locally, so no audio or caption text ever leaves your device. Live captions currently supports US English, though other languages will be added in the future. In the continued spirit to make the browser work better for you, we introduced Web Select. This feature allows you to copy text, tables, and other online content, and it carries over the original formatting to the document, so you don't have to spend time reformatting. I don't know about you, but reformatting is a big pain. This feature works across web pages and lets you paste content to make your life easier. And finally, a fun feature that speaks to all of us in our personal and work lives, Web Capture. We've all experienced a picture or a web page that we want to send to someone but need to draw their attention to something specific. Back in the day, with a piece of paper, you could draw on that paper to highlight exactly what you want. Well, with Web Capture, you can do just that in Edge without shifting to another application. 
Web Capture allows you to screenshot web pages and add markups using pen or touch functionality on your device. You'll see with this example, it's extremely important I let everyone know which dog is Macy and which dog is Rosie, who is newer to the Williams family. This coupled with our web select feature will make the most of your time online. Now let's shift our focus to security, a key component with a browser. Having robust security has become more and more important for both users and organizations as workers have increased flexibility with where and how they work. Microsoft Edge offers the highest rated protection against phishing and malware attacks on Windows compared to other browsers. However, as we all know, keeping end users and companies secure is an ever-changing landscape. Let's talk about some new features that directly help end users remain secure and a new feature that helps enterprises prevent data loss. While Enhanced Security Mode was introduced quite a few months ago, we've recently added a new setting that helps end users control themselves directly in the browser. Basic was added, which takes a less aggressive stance for turning on the feature. The intent of the basic preference is to allow the most top traffic sites and known qualified safe navigations to bypass the feature. Additionally, the feature also empowers users to create exceptions and tell the feature when it should be enabled or disabled on the sites you choose. For sites that fall outside the respective allow list, enhanced security mode will be enabled. The end user will see added security badge next to the URL. You can still navigate to the site uninterrupted, but Edge has turned on enhanced security mode to further protect you on the web. For our next security feature, we've introduced website typo protection. This feature protects users that accidentally navigate to fraud sites after misspelling the URL. Edge suggests the website the user most likely wanted to visit versus what they typed into the address bar. As an example, I likely meant office with two Fs, not office with one F. We partner with the Bing team to constantly scour the web for new typo squatters and dynamically update Edge to protect against newly identified typo squatting sites as soon as they are discovered. Now let's move into a new security feature that extends organizational data, security, and compliance to web workloads, sensitive service domains. First, let's take a step back. We introduced Microsoft Purview Endpoint DLP last year. This feature prevents sensitive data disclosure from the browser. It's natively built into Windows 10 and 11, Office apps, and Microsoft Edge, so no extension is required. IT admins can enable DLP from your compliance portal and integrates with Microsoft Information Protection, which supports more than 100 sensitive information types. Building on top of Microsoft Purview Endpoint DLP, we introduce sensitive service domains. Enterprises are moving workloads to the cloud, which has increased the volume of sensitive data being accessed via the browser. With sensitive service domains, admins can define leak controls on URLs that point to web pages containing sensitive data, such as customer info and CRM solutions, employee info and web-based HR solutions, and other sensitive information in homegrown internal web apps. Here are two examples of the leak controls in action. We've discussed end users within the enterprise and our important security pillar for Edge. But now let's turn our focus to IT professionals. You are the owners of maintaining and operating applications in your environment. Feedback from IT pros about Edge has been pivotal over the last few years, and it's always fun for me to talk about improvements to features that have come directly from the IT pro community. We introduced the Cloud Site List Management tool last year to help customers maintain their IE mode site list in the cloud. We've added features to this tool that will help you with your continued maintenance of the site list. For example, sourcing feedback from end users. This allows you as the IT admin to understand what sites have been added to users' local IE mode site list. 
you can act on an individual entry by adding it to an existing site list and view change history. You can also roll back to one of the last three published versions of your site list in the M365 Admin Center. And you can configure cookie sharing between Edge and IE mode in the Admin Center. And finally, all of these features are available for GCC mod environments. Another piece of feedback we heard was integration with Graph APIs. This integration allows you to manage your site list through Graph APIs and manage the same data you currently manage in the M365 Admin Center through Microsoft Graph. This integration is currently available in a private preview. Our digital transformation is continuing, and Edge is leading the way. We're investing in innovations that help end users throughout their workday and make managing Edge easier for IT admins while maintaining Edge as fast, secure, and compliant for your environment. Thank you, everyone. And thanks for your continued feedback as we build what our customers ask for. Make sure to check out our other Edge videos, and we welcome you to participate in our Edge Workspaces public preview. Also join us at the end of the month at Microsoft Technical Takeoff for an Ask Microsoft Anything on Microsoft Edge.